Hey, I'm Don Carr, and I'm here with uh, Stan Cody. He's in product development at Fender, and we're going to look at the pinwheel. Tell us about it, Stan. Awesome. The pinwheel is brand new for us, just coming out now. Uh, it's a rotary speaker type of pedal, so it encompasses lots of different, you know, 122, 145, vibratone, of course, the old Fender vibratone type right. rotary speakers. Nice, so. man, nice. Well, it sure sounds great, man. It feels great, too. And um, pretty obviously right off the bat, it's got a dynamics control. Mm -hmm. So that's really super fun because the harder you dig in, the more, you know, the changes the speed. We always look for subtle twists and turns and surprises and things we can put in that set it maybe a little apart. Yeah. And so with all three of the modulation pedals we're doing now, they all have that common feature of they can listen to your playing and do something when you play a little harder, when you dig in a little more. Yeah, that is really cool, man. So once around the features, so there's a bypass foot switch, of course, there's a speed control foot switch that takes you from slow to fast. If you push and hold that, it goes into brake mode where it actually stops the rotation. Uh, push it again, it starts up again. There are, are controls for the fast speed, there's controls for the slow speed, there's a control for the ramp time, so how long it takes to get up and down, you can change that a little bit. There's a type switch over here that switches from 122 to 145 to vibratone. Um, there's the sensitivity control for the dynamic function, and so you'll want to play with that, and that re relates to your particular playing, your technique, and how hard you dig in with a pick or with your fingers. So you'll find a place where it works. Um, and then lastly, we peeled the amp part of the pedal off separately, so we have separate controls. Um, rotating speakers have a really cool power up in it that distorts in a really neat way. It's different than a pedal distortion. It's, it's pretty different than an amp distortion. It's this really cool grindy thing. Yeah, and it works so well with the motion, just sonically. Yeah, it all kind of the sound of it. Like yeah. rolls into one thing. Right. Yeah. Um, so we peeled that off separately, so there's a separate tone control, a drive control, and a level control for it. Nice. So on the back of the pedal, um, we have the voicing switch that lets it work well with guitar rigs, you know, where you have a tone stack and a scooped mm -hmm. mid response. But there's also a keyboard position that flattens it out so it works better with a full range monitor or a keyboard wow. amp. Nice. And then uh, there's an external foot switch or expression pedal controller, and that can be switched from either an expression pedal mm -hmm. to a foot switch to control the speed. Um, of course, you can turn the LEDs on and off as well. Um, so, yeah, so that's the basic features. It's true stereo in and out. Yeah, so. as you can hear, I mean, good grief, man. The stereo spread on this thing is yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. Nice job, Yeah, man. Thank you. So for reference, I'm playing an American Professional Tele through two 64 custom hand-wired deluxes, and here's what it sounds like with the pinwheel bypassed. <laughs> Okay, Stan, so let's listen to the uh, drive control. I'm going to play a little bit. Man, just turn it up and down so we can hear what that does exactly. Sounds good. Here we go. It's fun to dig into, right? It sounds yeah. it, and it feels good, like it integrates with your playing. Right. right. Um, so yeah, it's 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 different than an amp distortion. I kind of like it. I, I think about it as a separate pedal sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's it's just another color, which we're always looking for that, right? Yeah. yeah. So Stan, let's look at the uh, dynamics control, the sensitivity range, because yeah. it's really interesting. Like you mentioned, it has to do with how you play and what kind of effect you're looking for exactly. So I think the best thing to do maybe is for me to play like a consistent chord, and then you just kind of turn the dial, and we can hear what you know what happens. Basically, sounds good. <laughs> So you saw that there was a zone right in the middle here where it was kind of right about where your threshold right, was. Right. When I turned it up a bunch, it was on the whole time. Everything right. you played triggered it. Right. And of course, when it's off, nothing triggers yeah. it. Um, falling buildings won't trigger it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you'll just find for your individual playing how hard you pick your guitar, your pickups, sure. your oh, yeah, the pick all that output stuff. is going to have everything to everything do with, to do with it. Yeah. So you'll find a spot where it'll be like, ah, that's my magic spot. Yeah, perfect. Well, um, so the dynamics control is really uh, a guitar player friendly sort of thing, as opposed to a keyboard thing. Which you know, obviously, there's a switch to turn it off. So um, if you're playing keyboard, maybe it's not something you want on. Yeah, and this pedal in the line, we this works really well in the keyboard context as well as a guitar context. Nice. So 
Um, the thing about it, the, you know, the expression pedal is such a part of the vocabulary of playing an organ sure. that um, it's a little disconcerting if you're an organ player to have the the speaker change speeds on you. So right as you're as you're working the pedal, yeah. So on Got this particular it. pedal, we put a switch on just to be able to disable it, so that if the knob gets bumped or something like that, it's kind of yeah, like a safety nice, feature. Nice. Well, and you know to say. Um, you know, brag on you a little bit. I mean, the fact that you're a guitar player and a keyboard player, and you're so good at both, and oh. you're a good designer. Yeah, Fender's lucky to have you oh. and uh, <laughs> be able to, to know little details like that to make this pedal just that much better. Thank you. So there you have it, kids. The pinwheel from Fender. Stan, thank you so much, man. Thank Don, you so thank much. You. This thing is awesome, dude. You killed it. Thank Knocked you. it out of the park. Really good team that worked on this. So I'm happy to work with them. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Okay, so if you have any questions about this or any other Fender product, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, or you can check us out online at sweetwater.com. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.